Hi, how are we? Our learning target for this video is I can find the missing sides or angles of a right triangle using trigonometric ratios. So our first example, in right triangle ABC, hypotenuse AB equals 15 and angle A equals 35 degrees, angle C equals 90 degrees. Find the length of BC to the nearest tenth. So let's, let's begin by drawing a right triangle and labeling the given information on the right triangle. So it's right triangle ABC. It's very important that we label the right angle correctly. The right angle, that's angle C. So let's make this C. And this is 90 degrees. So that's very, very important. Label the right angle first with the appropriate letter. Okay, then we have A and B. So I'm going to make that A and I'm going to make that B. As long as the right angle is where it's supposed to be, it doesn't matter where you put A and B. All right, so it says... AB is equal to 15. So I'm going to write 15 for AB. And it says that angle A is 35 degrees. So I'm going to write 35 degrees in there. Find the length of BC. So I'm going to let BC equal X. So I'm going to say this is X. It's unknown. Okay, now, you have to think about what information is given here in relation to the angle A. Because the information that's given here is what's going to determine the trigonometric ratio that you use. So let's look at the information that we have. We know that the angle is... 35 degrees. We know that the opposite side is unknown. We're looking for the opposite side. So the opposite side is X. And we know that the length of the hypotenuse of this right triangle is 35. Whoops. Hypotenuse is 15. Let's fix that. Let me just pause for a moment here. Okay, there it is. I fixed it. So the hypotenuse is 15. Okay, so now, which one of these trigonometric ratios should we use to find our missing side? Well, what do we have? And what are we looking for? Well, we have theta. It was 35 degrees. We have the opposite side, and we have the hypotenuse. The opposite side was x, and the hypotenuse was 15. So we have opposite hypotenuse and theta. That's sine. So we're going to use sine. Let's go back to our example. So since I'm going to use sine, I write the sine formula. The sine formula is the sine of theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So it's going to be the sine of 35 degrees is equal to x over 15. So I substitute it in there. Okay? So now, how do I solve for x here? Well, I could put this over 1, and I can cross multiply. So it's going to be x times 1 is x. So x equals the sine of 35 times 15. So it's the sine of 35 times 15. That's the value of x. All right, so let's pull out our calculators. Okay, so I got my calculator. Now, before I do anything... I have to make sure my calculator is in degree mode. So go to mode and change it to degree mode. Or if it's already in degree, leave it in degree mode. 
And the reason being is that our angles are in degrees. So we're going to work in degree mode. So I write the sine of 35, it's the sine of 35, close parentheses, times 15. And that's approximately 8.60364. Okay, now I have to round it to the nearest tenth. So my final answer is 8.6. Here are some general steps and guidelines for solving for missing parts when angles are in degrees. And you should write these in your notes. Let's try another example. Example two. So in example two, we're going to look for an angle. So example one, we look for a missing side. Here we're going to look for a missing angle. So example two says, in right triangle ABC, angle C equals 90, BC equals 15, and AC equals 20. Find angle A to the nearest degree. So I'm going to draw my right triangle, and I'm going to label the right angle C. So that's my right angle. So I'll label this A and I'll label this B. It says BC is 15, so I label that 15. AC is 20, so I label that 20. Find angle A, so angle A gets labeled X. So let's look at the information I have. This time theta is x. Remember theta is the stands for angle. Well, it's a Greek letter, but it's it's a Greek letter that's used to denote the angle. So the angle is x. It's unknown. Now that 20 in relation to the x, is it adjacent, opposite, or hypotenuse? It's adjacent, so adjacent is 20. That 15 is opposite, so the opposite side is 15. So let's go back to our trig ratios. We have adjacent, opposite, and theta. That's tangent. So for example 2, we're going to use tangent. So let's write the formula. So it's the tan of theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. So now you substitute. The tan of x is equal to 15 over 20. Well, 15 over 20, this is something that can be simplified. You don't have to cross multiply right away. I mean, you could if you want, but you don't have to. Um, so 15 over 20. is 0.75. So the tan of x is equal to 0.75. Okay, now, the way to get the angle, you have to do here the opposite of tan. Opposite of tan. What's the opposite of tan? So you got to do the opposite of tan on both sides, all right? So the opposite of tan, you got to do it on both sides to get x by itself. What's the opposite of tan? The opposite of tan is tan to the negative 1 power. And let me show you how you get that on a calculator. So you're going to write, you're going to type second and then tan. So you get the opposite of tan. You get the inverse of tan. So you type in 0.75, and you get this number. Now, the reason you do the opposite is because that's how you solve equations. You do the opposite. So you get x equals approximately 36.86989. We are told to round it to the nearest degree. So we're going to say that x is approximately 37 degrees. So 
x is 37 degrees. Okay, that's how you, this is how you would solve for a missing angle. These are just, you know, general steps. Okay, I hope this video helps. Take care.